Hey yo, intro check, let's go! Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back! Welcome back! Oh, oh yeah man, how you doing? On, you good? On, I know you like yeah, that. Good, man, good. Good. I know oh, you like that. How long you been back, man? See the girls in the club, they getting wild for me And all the pretty chicks all wanna smile at me These rap cats, man, they all got this style for me And if I ever see them, man, they probably bow to me And when this beat drop, I know they gon' lean World debut I Hey, what's up? If you like this video, you know what to do Go ahead and slash that like button And also, please, if you like what I do And the content I produce and you wanna get down with the family You know what to do Annihilate that subscribe button also, hit that post notification bell, and while you're at it, leave me comments down below. And oh yeah, by the way, welcome back. My name is Mark. Let's go. Okay, so before we get into this reaction, huge shout out to... And yes, like the picture says, you are the MVP. Hey, yo, check it. So we are about to get into another Led Zeppelin reaction. Yes, it is time to get the let out. We are going to be reacting to Bring It On Home. So I'm definitely anxious to react to this. Anybody who's been following this channel, you know how I feel about Robert Plant, Jimmy Page, and the crew with Zepp. So I'm going to skip all the semantics and the pleasantries, and we're just going to jump into it because we know what is going to be a smash, and it is a hit. Ooh, I love how bluesy this is starting off already with the harmonica. Like, this is like old way, like old way blues. I like that. And then with the guitar, like, meshing with it as well. I think that's so dope. Mmm. Oh, I like that too, how he's coming in. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, that echo, that was amazing. This sounds amazing in headphones. What I love about this already is because the way that it, I guess the mood that it puts me in, I'm thinking like black and white cinema, black and white film, any type of anything like that where you can actually catch like the raw and pure emotions of something, especially within like, you know how like in cinem cinematography, when things back in the old days was in black and white and it's putting me in like this stage coach type of vibe where you know when you have like a train riding the midnight oil and then you're just like getting like this black and white image going across your screen this visualization and it's evoking um pure emotion and that's what i love about black and white photography and just cinema in general because it basically is not overshadowed by color which sort of like can get saturated and tend to overshadow the um picture of the film but when you have like black and white it just captures the essence it's like a blank canvas pretty much and then you are able to stare into the soul of the photograph or stare into the soul of the black and white photography uh, well cinematography like the videography aspect but let's get back into this Oh, I love the way he's singing. His vocals are insane. Okay. And then hence he's sitting here talking about the track of a train. I wonder is, is somebody actually physically from the group playing this guitar? I mean, not guitar, harmonica. Whoa. Ooh. Ooh, come on. Come on, Robert. 
think I'm gonna sleep. It's the transition for me. Can I just sit there and say that? It's the transition for me. And I'm sorry to pause it in that transition, but it's definitely the transition for me. And it's his voice for me. When it took over that way and it got, and it seemed like a transition from like a bluesy aspect to like a real funk type of aspect. And I love that. And like he got real down and funky and dirty with it, especially within his voice too. I love that as well. Like Led Zeppelin are just the masters that cohesively putting together a package of like phenomic joy it seems like on a track like they just get it let's get back into it <laughs> I love that. Ooh, I like that br that bring back. I like how they brought it back. Ooh. See, and they're so phenomenal at doing that too. They, their transitions are so fluid and then they're bringing it back to the original aspect of the track from what they, where they started off at the beginning. I love that. That closing, whoo, that was beautiful. That that was dope. I love that. Okay, so let's quickly talk about "Bring It On Home" by Led Zeppelin. They definitely got the lead out on this track. Robert Plant and Jimmy Page and not and the rest of them annihilated this. I love this. I love the bluesy aspect. This was like real old way blues, not like what you would think that when it's like reinvigorated, like a whole new like new age this is like real old way like deep rooted in the foundation of blues of the way that that started off that harmonica and even the way that they played the guitar and the drum everything just infused together was amazing and then when that transition came it got like real 70s like funk type of vibe almost to me like i really like how they got in the grain like they dug their feet and it just got real funky with it like the transition was so fluid it was like melted butter like just cutting through it like it was no there was it was no hard task it was easy just letting it go down they really killed that and i loved it like I don't know. I always say that about Led Zeppelin because of the simple fact they never let me down. And that's what I love about a group. When you have like consistency, and, but not your consistency is not flat. Your consistency is because it's your trajectory is going straight up. There's no fall off. There's no let down. And if it does, they may have like maybe track fillers on albums, but then even their track um, fillers are amazing as well so you can't even really can you really even call it a um, track filler they just get music and they live and breathe music they just know what it takes to be an amazing group they had it they had all the tools necessary i thought that that was amazing i loved it i loved everything about it like i said i love the infusion of jazz and blues i mean not jazz but blues and funk in it and i thought it was great so from my opinion i would definitely give it a 10 out of 10 that was a body i loved it so let me know what you thought of bring it on home by led zeppelin in the comments below and with that being said please remember to be safe out there remember to stay awesome be awesome because you guys are all awesome this is your boy mark and i'm signing off deuces peace